It was the end of January. Shocking news. Lieutenant Paul Buttram, Lieutenant Kelsey Sadler, and EMT firefighter Kenny Lacayo died when a vacant row home collapsed on them while battling a fire. The Firefighter Safety Act was crafted based on best practices set forth by the National Fire Protection Association and the International Association of Fire Chiefs. At Tuesday night's Baltimore City Council meeting, Councilwoman Danielle McRae introduced the Firefighter Safety Act, which establishes new rules of engagement for fighting vacant structure fires, requires each firefighter to be equipped with a digital and video recording device, and requires a safety and risk management officer to report directly to the chief. What we're asking is the City Council, the Public Safety Committee to sit with us and go through this report. Both city fire unions and department officials say that they were never asked for input on the bill. IAFF Local 734 President Rich Langford tells us recently the city council commissioned and paid for a 300 plus page report that highlighted 28 recommendations the department needed to fix and so far only a handful have been addressed. I think it has good intent to it but it's something that needs to be set down with the unions, the fire department administration, to kind of get to the bottom of this. We've had public reports done. Let's look at all these reports and come together as a group and put a better plan in place. In the end, Langford is hopeful that the department and city can work something out. Hopefully with this tragedy that happened, the city, government, the administration will all work together to find ways to make this department better. And don't let this tragedy go in vain. And Councilwoman McRae was unavailable for an on-camera interview. She did release a statement to us, which read in part that she is looking forward to meeting with all stakeholders concerning this issue. Both unions say they plan to meet with the Councilwoman and the Public Safety Committee in the coming weeks. We're live in West Baltimore tonight. I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL, TV 11 News.